Hi folks, I'm here to show you the MP3 400cc, which is what I have for Piaggio motorcycle. So basically, I um, just want to start off showing the back end. I'm actually today going to talk about installing the top case. I have the 56 liter um, Maxi, Maxi Air 4, which is the brand new uh, top case by Givi. So I actually bought this uh, back a while back and I'm actually getting ready to install it onto the back of the Piaggio so I'm just going to go over a quick overview of my bike so you can see so this is the Piaggio MP3 400cc motorcycle just going to give you a walk through I think they stopped making these models so I have some extra accessories that I put on the bike and I'm gonna go ahead and put the top case like I said you need to get one of these it's the best to have if you have you know an mp3 especially with the back trunk that pops open so I'm basically um, bought this because I thought it was the best so I could still have the usage of the back trunk so basically it has two latches that locks automatically once you pull it very tight and basically allows you to get more room space I have an extra um, helmet in there in the back trunk and so it's very easy for me to utilize the trunk space of the top case once I put it on as well as being able to access this back space to store more, more so equipment. If you have again uh, basically a support uh, mount bracket and I, I suggest you use this to adjust back and forth and this is what happens if you actually have a standard um, bracket to actually mount your top case on this is as far as you could go and opening up the, the trunk space. So with this, it allows me to go back and forth and actually tighten it so that you have more space. Um, like I said, I have a spare helmet and other, other things that I put in there. So it kind of be more convenient for me to have that opportunity to put stuff without having to try to squeeze it in if, this, you know, if the trunk space is halfway open. So I'm gonna lock this in place. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the top case. So once you finish putting on, all you have to do is basically snap it to the back, which is what locks it in. You hit a snap, it's automatically locked, and this is ready to go. And it's very sturdy. You can see, you could barely push it off. One of the key features you should know about this is that, again, you need to push this red button, and you have to push it hard for it to pop out. Again, locks in. One of the things I find with a feature, once you have this open, you just need to push the lever, the red lever inside, that pumps the trunk. So again, very good. Now there's a security feature that you should know about. Even though, let's say you happen to forget to push this down, you cannot just pop this open unless you have the, you know, the basically remote control. But if someone happened to see that open it, then they're gonna rob you and steal from your storage container. They can't because you still need to have the key inside. So even though I push this, it will not open the top. So once I put the key in, there you go. So it's an added bonus of security to know that um, your bike is safe and your content, content is also safe once you leave it or you forgot to close everything. So with that, thank you for your time. Again, put some comments and hopefully this video has been helpful to you.